What is up, guys? My name's Jackal. As the name says, look at that, right there. Bow! Jackal. And uh, we're here for more Bojack Horseman. We're here for more Soul Blazer. So, let's get it cracking. Um, am I supposed to be doing anything with you? Oh, wait, didn't we beat the boss last time? Did we? I don't remember. I could have sworn I beat the boss, didn't I? Usually there's more triumphant music playing. Or did I not save before I did that for some reason? That'd be weird. Yeah, because it's supposed to be here. All right. I must have for not reason saved before I did the boss. All right, well, boss time then. Fucking A, let's go. Um, we got herb, we got our bracelet. Let's get cracking. All right, so... Bojack, what was it? Season, season 5, episode 8? Episode 8, I think. Yeah, because I'm four away from the end. I know that much. Oh, wait. If this is the case, I can just do this. Swoop. And, um, this episode was pretty good. It was a Mr. Peanut Butter episode. Like, a strictly Mr. Peanut Butter episode, which we haven't really gotten before. Not like that, I don't think. We've had Mr. Peanut Butter and Diane episodes, um, because they were married. And I've always said that Oh, you're a dick face. Alright. Let me remember how to fight this guy. Because I remember him actually being pretty easy. Once I... There we go. But I've always said that this show could have any one of the main, any one of the characters other than Bojack really be a main character if the show were only dedicated to him. And I guess I never really thought about it, but, you know, Mr. Peanut Butter kind of felt, at least as of late, that he was kind of lacking in that department. Like, it's not that there's anything less, with any less depth to his character. It's just that he's not really presented often for anything other than, like, comedic gags. And even Todd has become a little bit more defined as a character than Mr. Peanut Butter has been. But this episode kind of helped with that, with having the focus be a lot on... Mr. Peanut Butter and his past marriages and kind of seeing the similarities through the ages with how his marriages have tended to go and the downward trend that they've actually taken. And, um, you know, I'm not going to say that Diane at least is always the best, but I'm going to give a special shout out to Diane in this episode because the... Her interactions with Pickles were actually super fucking great and super wholesome. Because, you know, Diane, at very least if you think about it in this way, Diane was the third of, well, Pickles isn't a, isn't a wife. She's the, the new girlfriend. Um... So that kind of puts it on that perspective, that she's brand new. So, you know, Diane was the third marriage. She, more than the other two wives, the other two wives, like, Mr. Peanut Butter was already established at that point. 
but less so than he would have been by the time he was with Diane. And, you know, Pickles even makes the comment at one point that um, they've been doing this party, the Bojack's Halloween party, longer than she's been alive. And, you know, Diane points that out to him. Like, you go out with women that are always in their 20s. And it's not... Mr. Peanut Butter isn't predatory. So it's not like a commentary on any, like, weird age gap thing. Because the the reference more becomes that Mr. Peanut Butter has always just kind of maintained his same aloof attitude. And he just... He never grows anywhere. He just stays where he is. And, you know, women outgrow him. And you could actually even see that even before Diane pointed that out to him, there seemed to be moments where she kind of, where Mr. Er, not she, where um, Mr. Peanut Butter was kind of, kind of getting it a little bit before, even before it was ever actually said. <clears throat> just because, I mean, it varies at, like, multiple points. And I think he even said it before, I think he did after as well. But even before Pickles talked to Diane, there is a little bit that you can tell in Mr. Peanut Butter that Diane has changed about him. It does seem like, Mr. Peanut Butter still enjoys parties, but it does seem like now he, after being with Diane, he probably does value more quiet times and you know you see him asking her at multiple points like hey do you want to just go home and just chill out just the two of us the way that him and diane would now that does kind of reinforce the problem that mr peanut butter has where he's always using his past relationships to kind of drive where his behavior goes with his current relationship um he's he's done that with um the way that he compares whoever he's with to his exes, he definitely kind of does that. But at very least, it also seems like it's a little extra than that. It's a little more than that this time. It feels like he's kind of starting to get it. And that his interests, as he's get, getting older, may be starting to change. Especially with the influence of Diane in his life. And I do like the way that it showed Diane through the ages where, you know, it showed that in the early, like when she was first, um, I think it was her first party. Um, oh yeah, because, uh, wait. I'm trying to wonder if, um, cause if I look it, with Katrina, he was actually married to her. So that wasn't her. F she wasn't new with Mr. Peanut Butter. I don't think if I remember correctly, they were already married when Bojack had that first party. So that was the first party in general. When it comes to Jessica Beale, I don't know. If that was their first party together. I don't know. I, I don't know. I know for Diane and Pickles it was. And for Katrina, it wasn't... Like with Diane and Pickles, it was when they got together. Like early in their relationship. Katrina wasn't because they were already married. But that was the first party. So I guess like it would make sense that for Jessica Beale if it was the first but it, I don't know if it's ever made apparent. But um you know because that was Diane's first party with Mr. Peanut Butter like that. You know, the whole time she's she's closer to she's actually worse than old Diane when it came to be like being socially awkward and shit like that. She was like an extra mess 
when it came to being social. And the tragedy is, is that <coughs> her, like the fact that Diane had like this really obscure costume and Bojack was the only person to know, uh, there will be no revival of the world unless death tolls the fetal. Dr. Leo must be somewhere in Madrid Castle. Here, take the stone from my pocket and go to Madrid Castle. All right. Um, God damn it. I promised I wouldn't get distracted just now by doing that, and I did. Duh! Um, oh, yeah. You, you see that, you know, Bojack was the only one that got her fucking obtuse costume. And it shows that, like, how compatible the two of them are. And I don't even mean in, like, a them getting together and Bojack, like, hooking up with her like he kind of wanted, like he really wanted to at the beginning of the series. Just in general, as friends. But she had just had, like, because think about what Diane actually was doing. She was talking about how important Bojack, or, um, horsing around was. The only single thing in Bojack's life that he actually has any sort of, like, pride in like that. So, her, like, flagellating that part, he would have loved to be talking to her about that. But it was... It just so happened to be... Oh, yeah, this is what happened. And then I never say I never resaved after I went here. I remember what happened. Okay. Hell yeah. Where was it? Yeah, here it was. Alright, this is the last world. Let's revive this fucking castle, guys. Got him. No, it just, it just fires projectiles at me. I can't attack it. Oh. torture chamber. Jesus Christ. Ooh, what if I can use a tornado on him? That would be dope. I can't suck up the ghost or nothing. This sucks. Alright, skeletons. Easy peasy, I can deal with you. Hopefully I get some sort of weapon that allows me to fuck up ghosts. There are many ghosts in the torture room of the basement. First look for the spirit sword. Spirit sword. Alright, so I need a new sword. That's what I need. And just like that. Yeah, that's legit. Just a fucking unkillable turret. Super whack. 
But I liked watching Diane through the years of, you know, seeing how at first, or wait, no, let me, let me continue with what I was saying now that I'm fresh minded. Um, it sucks that Diane and Bojack were never able to properly hit it off just for the fact that she was complimenting the only thing that Bojack actually takes any pride in in his life. And the only problem with the situation had to be that, you know, his dad had just passed away and he was just distracted and in the middle of something. He was just like, Diane didn't embarrass herself as much as she thinks she did, but that's just her anxiety. But it was definitely not like a great first meeting that they could have had. But, you know, it was just like circumstance at the time that just dictated how that interaction went. And, you know, Mr. Peanut Butter was kind of right to say like, hey, you know, if it makes you feel any better, he won't even remember of having this conversation. But, you know, that's true, but not for the reason that Diane, okay, fucking dick. So unnecessary. So unnecessary. But, you know, it was nice watching Diane go from, like, uh, 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 the whole time to, like, at this point in the story, she's just like, yo, can y'all motherfuckers move your goddamn car? I want to leave. And just, like, navigates through the party, helps out Mr. Peanut Butter, helps out Pickles. And she doesn't feel, like, fake when she does it. Like, she even, she even tells Pickles, like, all right, let's get you up. Let's get you hydrated. I understand your problems. Here's how we go about fixing them. No, yeah, at first, you know, you suck. Yeah, you know, Diane at first was being a little condescending, being like, you know, making jokes about Pickle's age. Even though it is the problem, Diane was being a little extra at the beginning. But once she was done being extra and then, like, took the time to be sincere and be helpful, she was. She was She was nice and helpful. What is this fucking bullshit? That enemy seems like the fucking worst. Oh, you shoot shit at me too. Great, that's exactly what I wanted you to have. I actually have a super headache right now. We're going to be going to an amusement park tomorrow, so I'm going to buy some drinks here in a minute. But I definitely need to get some water while I'm there. I need it. All right, dodge those. Not dodge those. Okay, that one was fast. You're an asshole. A singer. Sad sounding voices coming from the theater. I can't play a harp without strings. What a fucking first world problem. Souls are like trapped in the nether region. And you don't have fucking harp strings. Some 16-bit Karen going on in here. A soldier, and this looks like it's in a church. If 
Five more layers? Alright. Ow. But it's actually really nice to have watched Diane, like, grow up in that way. Because, you know, Diane wasn't that bad when we first meet her, but she was definitely more awkward than she is now. You know, now Pickles will tell Diane that, you know, she's intimidating. And, like, think about what kind of person Diane... And it, she's been a very gradual change. Like, she's definitely much more... She still clearly has, like... She's going to have her fucking depression issues and everything still. Like, none of those issues are gone. But she still has found a way to, as she's gotten older, be more assertive. Be more sure of herself. Be more present. There are many thorns in the basement. If you free the soldier right in front of where I've been captured, you will receive the elemental mail. Okay. So just do the thing that I've been doing and just killing everything? That's ridiculous. Shows that. You're an asshole. Come on. What the? What the? But, you know, I like how uh, how Mr. Peanut Butter is having to have, like, this decision now about himself, about his age and his interests in relationships. Because he doesn't... He clearly doesn't like having, like, divorces. Ooh, damn, that dude's dead. Divorce doesn't, like... Not just because of, like... They made his character a literal fucking... Oh, shit. They made his character like a literal dog. He's not going to be the kind of character, and from what we've just seen in his actions, he's not going to be the kind of character that wants or enjoys... There's one more. That He doesn't seem like the kind of character that's going to enjoy, like, lifestyle-altering events like a divorce. Huh. I must find my way up here through another floor at some point. Anything fucky wucky? No. Oh, shit. Yeah. Zelda senses tingling, baby. And a level up. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You stop doing that. Remember where the invisible enemies are. Oh, wait, no. That means I can get those, um... I should be able to go back and get those other enemies. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, 
11. This is feeling like a lot here. Maybe that's what we'll do is, because we've been playing for 25 minutes, it's about time to be done. <laughs> the only place I know for sure where there was those enemies was in the second area. Invisible monsters. Alright, let's go back. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's find our shit and save. And we will continue. And we'll talk to everybody next time. And then probably go back and... Ah, uh, what you who's it? go back and fight any spirit monsters. I know there's those big orbs, but I can't remember if there was any... any more. It wasn't that many episodes. I mean, I guess I'll just have to do the same thing, just do a quick run-through of certain areas. Not the first world. The first area, I... I'm pretty assured that there's nothing in there that I need. All right, hell yeah. But I guess we'll do that next time. But yeah, BoJack was, um, it was a good episode. I'm hoping to see more growth from Mr. Peanut Butter at this point. Um, not that his character's been bad, but it does feel like, especially with him and Diane's relationship ending, it feels like he's taking a bit more of a backseat. And it wasn't that long ago. But this season feels like, you know, Todd's growing. He's getting, like, higher up in the business world. Princess Carolyn's trying to figure out how to get a kid. You know, Bojack is moving backwards. He's, like, and he's starting to, like, take more pills, and I'm starting to not like it. And I don't like um, that there was, like, more merger um, where he didn't realize he was wearing um, Filbert's clothes. Um, I definitely don't like that at all. Okay, sorry, somebody in my neighborhood was coming up real hot. Um, but yeah, no, it's, everybody's been growing a lot, and it feels like Mr. Peanut Butter's kind of not as much. He's been there, but like, he's, just, like, the most we've seen of him is him be, like, uncomfortable with, the fact that Diane's working on the same project as he is. But, like, that's really it. But this this kind of helped put in contextualization a lot of his past relationships and how far back his issues of, like, the way he doesn't listen. Like, him and Diane, after, you know, she had her meltdown at the party, you know, he sat there and was like, yeah, um, you know, it's a good thing we'll never have this argument again. But we all know that peanut butter throwing uh, parties and causing a fight is like Mr. Behavior 101. So this this helped bring Mr. Peanut Butter into the forefront a little bit more and I hope they continue on with him from here on out. So uh, till next time y'all. Peace out.